Um, unfortunately, her best wasn't enough for probably the needs that you had. Yeah. Huh. I mean, when you really think about that, man, how, how does that make you feel? It really upsets me because I feel like um, she could have did, like, more even she had the time and enough. She, if she had the time and space, you know, I feel like she could have did more if she really put her best into it, but, you know. And so, I mean, does she know that you're homeless right now? Probably not. So, I mean, if you could give her a message right now, look her dead in the camera. Tell her whatever's on your heart, man. Tell her directly to her. Well, you know, I still love you and everything. I just wish we could have, you know, had a better relationship. And I know it was just, like, a lot hard for you. But I just want to let you know I still love you to death. And so, I mean, if she would have happened to come across this YouTube video, what do you think her thoughts and her reactions would be? I don't know, to be honest. I just hope she, you know, wants to, you know, What's up, YouTube? Become a member of the channel. Click the join button. You're going to get access to exclusive content, more updates, post-interview reactions, and the lost tapes that never made it to YouTube. Click the join button. Become part of the family. Now back to the content. What's up, YouTube? Atlanta Street Interviews out here with another one. Um, so we got my man out here today. How's it going today, man? I'm going good. All right, all right. So, are you homeless? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, how old are you? 18. 18? Yeah. Jesus Christ. That's that brand new car smell, yeah. man. <laughs> Thought I smelled some. All right. And so, um, how long have you been homeless? Uh, I just got homeless. I just got defects and everything. And it was like, I signed out because I thought I could do better thing. I'm staying with my mom. I got on drugs and she kicked everybody out. Okay, you saying your mom, you're talking about your foster mom, right? Uh, it was somebody I called my mom. Basically, she helped me out at the time. So it's just like, I called her mom. It worked with her a lot. So. Okay, and you was living there? Yes, sir. And what type of drugs are we talking about? Meth. That's really it. I smoked marijuana, too. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you did meth? I haven't done it actually in a month. Okay. So you haven't done it in a month, but you say you just... uh. You just became homeless like a day or so ago, right? Not a day or so ago, maybe about like a week ago. Okay. Because um, basically I got out of this other shelter because they said I was threatening them. But all I was saying is watch this, I'm going to show y'all. Basically. It sounds like a threat. Yeah. Man. It's not, and and you're, you're not a small guy, man. How tall are you, man? 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, I'm having to hold the, the, the camera <laughs> up, man. Like you're basketball player height. You're Michael yeah. Jordan's height, man. Actually, right. I really am. He's actually six. No, he's six, six, six. Yeah. I know. I'm a huge Jordan fan. <laughs> All right, man. So, okay. So, you got kicked out the other shelter because you were threatened. Right? Yeah. So, so basically, we shouldn't be fooled by the baby face. <laughs> you know, you got this this innocent looking baby face going on, but really, you know, we I'm know how really things go. I'm not really a fighting thought, the fighting type, though. I really just try to work things out. I do get mad and make threats, but it's not, I don't really mean them. I got to, you know, stop. Yeah, but I'm about to go to I'm, the military and everything, so. You say you are about to go to the yeah. military? Okay. I'm about so to get my GD first, and then I'm going to become a medic in the, um, the Army, and then I'm going to go to the EMT field after I get the Army. Okay, okay. Well, okay, so let's, so, all right, let's, let me ask, did you have any kids? No. Okay, have you ever been married? No. Okay. All right, so let's just start from the beginning, man. So, where are you from? I'm from Douglasville, Georgia. Man, shout out Douglasville, man. That's West West Side, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's West Side, but then it's West West Side. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, so growing up in Douglasville, um, did you have both your mom and your dad in the household? Well, my mom, I was adopted. I've been adopted since I was two. And basically, my mom was a lesbian. So it's just Your like, adopted mom? Yeah. Okay. They both adopted me when they was both together, so. Okay. And so, I guess, did they at some point split? Yes, and then she found another one, which I was living with them still. I was in and out group homes and foster homes and everything. So wait, hold on. Let's let's back up. Let's back up. Okay. So, prior to two years old, um, did you ever get an explanation for why your biological mom wasn't there, wasn't in your life? No. Okay. Did you I ever wish. inquire? Did you ever ask? I tried. It was like you're too young to know about it right now, and they said. Like, once you get, like, to the certain point of age, we can actually um, share your documents and stuff with you. It was just like, oh, all right. Did they ever do that? No. 
basically I, I signed out all of a sudden because it's just like it was too much I, I didn't like going to now foster homes or group homes getting abused and everything what type of abuse um physical actually my adopted mom used to throw chairs hit me with chairs break me through the bed and break me through the walls a lot okay so i mean and i just want to be clear so you're saying your adopted mom meaning the one that adopted you at two yeah okay so basically there was one main mom even though a lesbian couple adopted you yeah and then when when you know they broke up and so you're the main mom that you was with was she the more male or the more female one? uh she was the more female mom, but she was freaking like really like you know firm and strict about things okay okay and so she eventually got with another woman yeah um and how long did that last oh shit, no you okay you okay how long did that last um they stay still going on right now okay so they're still together yeah okay. i just don't keep in contact with them no more so what age did you live with your mom your adopted mom what age did you live with her up to about like 14 15. okay so i mean so from two to 14 to 15. yeah that's a, that's a decent amount of time, man. I mean, and so why'd you why'd you have to leave her house? Basically, the abuse was um, getting too much for me, and I went to defects, and I told them, "Can y'all just place me somewhere else?" They couldn't. They didn't have beds in other foster homes and junk. So basically, they just placed me in uh, other group homes, and I, I eventually wanted to kill myself, and I started going in and out of hospitals. Hmm. Okay, all right. So basically, you've just been in and out of group homes since then. And now, shelters. You know yeah. Ooh, since 15. Um, did you go to high school? I did, I dropped out. What grade did you drop out? Uh, ninth. Why'd you drop out? It was like I was getting bullied in school and everything, and I, I wanted to kept putting up to, with it because I didn't want to do nothing stupid. Knowing myself, like, I want, as soon as I get fed up with something, it hurts me really bad. I end up doing something stupid, like getting into fights or even worse. Like, what, what what's worse that you've done? Um, I have one time proceeded to bro bring a box cutter to school. You just going to cut somebody? No, I was just going to threaten them with it and tell them to just leave me alone. So basically, you kind of feel like you're just getting bullied. Yeah. Damn, who's bullying a six six guy like you? I wasn't man? this tall. You wasn't when I was this tall, man. Right, right. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it, man. All right, man. Um, you know, you're you're 18, so you don't you don't quite have the perspective of a full grown adult yet. But how does it make you feel that your adopted mom kind of, you know, kind of? It sounds like kind of gave up on you. Um, it actually makes me really upset because even though the times I try to call and, you know, try to work things out, she ends up blocking me at the end of the call. She ends up what? Blocking me at the end of the call. Huh. Do you, do you love her? I try to as best as I can. Well, well, I still, I still am grateful that she took me in at the time she did. She was just a really, she was like really not at the good point to, you know, to be raising kid. kids, yeah. yeah. So I mean, she tried her best, but yeah. um, unfortunately, her best wasn't enough for probably the needs that you had. Yeah. Huh. I mean, when you really think about that, man, how, how does that make you feel? It really upsets me because I feel like um, she could have did like more. Even she had the time and enough. She, if she had the time and space, you know. I feel like she could have did more if she really put her best into it, but you know. And so, I mean, does she know that you're homeless right now? Probably not. So, I mean, if you could give her a message right now, look her dead in the camera, tell her whatever's on your heart, man. Tell her directly to her. Well, you know, I still love you and everything. I just wish we could have, you know, had a better relationship. And I know it was just like a lot hard for you, but I just want to let you know, I still love you to death. And so, I mean, if she would have happened to come across this YouTube video, what do you think her thoughts and her reactions would be? I don't know, to be honest. I just hope she, you know, wants to, you know, make the time for me to um, come and help her or she can help me or anything. Okay. All right. All right. 
And so you say you haven't done any meth in a month? Yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations on that, man. Um, and so as far as as far as it goes, it sounds like you have a plan, um, which is to get your GED and go to the military. Mm -hmm. um, how? Where are you in that process? Um, I'm like, it, it was six weeks ago. My, um, I was basically trying to get my birth certificate and everything to get a job. By the time I get my GED first, and um, basically I met these people and. They said it's gonna help me get my GD, and so they're gonna buy me a GD. But what well, it should be coming today or tomorrow, I okay. can start studying with one of the veterans up at the Gateway. Okay, man. All right. Well, hey, that sounds about right. So you, the GD book will be here soon. Yeah. Um, and then you're gonna, you know, go through that process, eventually get your GD, and you plan on enrolling in the military. Yes, sir. Well, listen, man. I got a couple military buddies. Um, we're gonna talk after this, man. I'm gonna see if they can give you any advice and all like that man but all right so i think that's a great idea by the way yeah I, you know for especially for people who have had instability in their life i think the military is a great place to go and get some stability and learn some discipline and learn not to threaten <laughs> but don't threaten and all that type of stuff right yeah so i i think that's a great idea man i, I salute you for that all right man so I mean, if anybody, oh, by the way, do we have a history of mental health diagnosis or anything yeah, like that? Yeah, I have bipolar depression, ADHD, anxiety. That's pretty much it. And PTSD, basically, from the abuse. What ages were those? did those diagnoses occur? Um, It was all throughout my life. I don't know the exact ages. I've been to so many doctors and pediatricians. I've been diagnosed with so much, man. Okay. All right. Uh, do they have you on any medications? Not at the moment. I'm trying to get on some. Okay. All right, man. Well, like I say, we appreciate you taking the time answering our questions. Um, if anybody out there wanted to reach out, help, or donate, do you have a way they could do that? Do you have social media, Cash App, anything like that? Um, I have Cash App. It's M A L A K O H A Y D E, and it doesn't have a picture on it though. Okay. Any social media? Uh, I have um, Facebook. is basically the same thing. M A L A K O H A Y D E. -N. All right, man. Well, listen, we appreciate you, and we definitely wish you nothing but the best out here, all right? All right. My guy, make sure you have a good one, man.